What's going on everybody? It's me, Mike. I've been drinking since noon, and now I'm Santa Claus. I'm here to give you the naughty and nice list for Arizona Sports 2018. Now let's see, where do we begin? First up on the list, Arizona Diamondbacks entire offseason plan. You know where that ended up? Spoiler alert, naughty. What are you doing? Who's thinking up there? It's as if they had a, a big meeting, identified every single player that mattered to the team and said, let's get rid of all of them. What's going on? Who's in this meeting? I'm the drunk one. You shouldn't be doing this. Corbin, we're not paying him. Goldie, let's trade him to some city that appreciates a first baseman. You know what you're gonna be receiving in this offseason transaction? A large lump of coal. Naughty list, move on. Next up on the list, old Bobby Sarver. This rich guy thought he'd be okay owning a basketball team. Well, here we are, 14 years later, nothing to show for it. Nothing. You know what you get this year? Big old lump of coal. Oh wait, you probably already invest in coal because you're a monster. You're also getting another number one overall draft pick. Hope there's a point guard this year, because we don't got one of those. You know why? Because you fired the GM nine days before the season started. The hell's wrong with you, Bobby? Hey, Bobby, I'd, I'd continue talking smack to you, but you already got served by an old lady that was old enough to have seen both Roosevelt's in the presidency. To get off your high horse, come on down to the people. Figure out that we want a winner in Phoenix. Next up on the naughty and nice list, Steve Wilkes. Let's see where he ends up. Of course. What did we get when he came to town? Oh, look at this guy. It looks like Denzel Washington. Looks like Denzel. We didn't get man on fire, Denzel. And we sure as hell didn't get training day, Denzel, all right? This is virtuosity Denzel at best. This is Magnificent Seven career misstep Denzel Washington. Couldn't even get Denzel from a Spike Lee joint? You know, if we could have got out of time, Denzel, I'm okay with that. That's eight and eight. We got safe house Denzel. This pairs well with Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds outacted him in a film that they were in. That's how bad this Denzel was that we got. What do we have here? Sean Miller, head coach of the Arizona Wildcats basketball team. If you've read the news at all this year, you know that he has been naughty. We haven't indicted this guy yet? I've seen episodes of Law and Order move quicker than this. This guy has set back the U of A many years. They lost a lot of recruits. And I just want to say sincerely, as a graduate of Arizona State University, keep doing you, baby. Doing great. Bobby Hurley sends his love. Now, that's a lot of naughty people, but if you can believe it, there was some niceness in the Arizona sports world this year. You want to see the nice list? I'll show you. Here we have Nikhil Harry. If you watched any football on Saturday this year, you know He's on the nice list. Nikhil had back-to-back 1,000-yard -back receiving years down in Tempe. He's got a beautiful hairdo. And honestly, he's got an athletic prowess that, quite frankly, reminds me of myself at a younger age, okay? Tempe's gonna miss him. pac 12s gonna miss him. He's entering the league now. And hey, Cardinals, draft him. He'll be the best Sun Devil you drafted since Rod Tigwell. That worked out pretty well. Best wide receiving prospects ever to come out of Arizona State University. Show me the money, Jerry. And here we have Eno Benjamin. Yeah, he's on the nice list. You don't run over 300 yards against Oregon State and not get on the nice list. You don't set a single season rushing record for Arizona State University and not get on the nice list. You don't run all over the U of A in the Territorial Cup and not get on the nice list, okay? Honestly, he's so nice, I don't even have anything funny to say. Love you, Eno. Next drink's on me. Oh, you're still 19. All right. I'll buy two for good measure. This here is Josh Rosen. Honestly, I don't even know his stats. I haven't watched a lot of him this year. Just seems like a nice boy. Just give him a nice list. Um, he'll get all the presents he wants. And uh, what's that? Oh, he doesn't even celebrate the holiday. This is awkward. He used binarily in a sentence? All right, I'm rethinking this. Ah, whatever, give him some gifts. It's holiday season. What are you gonna do? Quite honestly, the nicest thing about this year in sports is that it's almost over. This has been probably one of the worst Arizona sports years on record. 
at least as far as I can remember. Cardinals completely ruined everything. You got the Suns being the Suns. Diamondbacks ruined September for everybody. If you want any advice on what to watch next year, I'd suggest the Phoenix Mercury, pretty good. Phoenix Rising, I've heard, is a good time to drink in public in Tempe. Oh yeah, and arena football. We're always good at that. And how about the Coyotes? I guess nobody does watch hockey, huh? Screw the Coyotes. Hey, from my family to yours, even though mine doesn't love me anymore, Merry Christmas. I'm Mike. I drink before noon sometimes.